Hey everybody, so welcome to another review here. Um, I'm sitting down with uh, my friends Jacob Johnson and Tyler Riley. Uh, so this is a little bit of a late review. We ended up seeing The Lodge uh, on day one, I believe, two days ago now. And this was a very anticipated film for me personally, if not one of my most anticipated films of 2020. So I've been really looking forward to doing this review and seeing this movie and um i was a big fan of good night mommy so i was again really looking forward to this uh movie um what about you guys are you guys pretty hyped about this one good night mommy is such a great fucking movie (laughs) Uh, the lodge yeah i was pretty excited for it yeah yeah i thought the trailer really made it look pretty creepy yeah and you know before i i I go before we go into this review um i just want to say that this film really it had so much hype going into it i mean there were like the reviews coming out were pretty good it had some pretty good buzz had a really great cast to it the trailer was fucking insane so okay um if i wanted to watch hereditary i would have watched hereditary yeah That's it's what v- i'm gonna say it's very reminiscent I, I i thought that too it's very reminiscent um, to a lot of horror movies i mean i feel like it's inspired by hereditary but i don't think it's blatantly hereditary like like right. i can feel like it just it's definitely its own original story it's just right. very inspired <clears throat> and you can see those inspirations Right, right. And what our inspirations slowly start to become almost fabrications, kind of. Like, I even got, like, shining vibes from this. Absolutely, yeah. Like, and again, this this could have been an original horror film. It really could have. It just, it depended so much on other films. Like, well, and... Can I elaborate? Yeah. Like... I feel like this is an original horror film. I just don't feel like it conveys its story in a good way. Like, a good story can use these inspirations and still create good horror intention. Yeah. This is one of those movies, though, where you're watching it and you slowly start to pick out what it's ripping off from. What my main... Because you're bored. What my main issue is, is that it didn't depend on itself. Right. It didn't. It had it had a good story, it had a great cast, a good director. Wait wait wait, just... wait 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 man! You didn't clarify if you liked the movie or not. <laughs> Let them know. Did uh, you like the movie? So I'm gonna say my review now. The Lodge is yeah, well acted, directed, and atmospheric enough to make for a solid chiller, but its dependence on jump scares and lack of involvement toward the story's filler is a huge letdown all in all this movie brought enough to make for a good film but its overall outcome and overall filler did not do it justice yeah i feel like this movie is heavily predicated on twists and yes whether or not you think these twists work that will decide your enjoyment of this movie. I thought the twists in this movie were really dumb. Like, <laughs> and, 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 and suspension of disbelief is just gone in this in this movie. Yeah, like, like, like there was like, uh, like you can tell, you know, as 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 a horror fan, you can feel that energy and feel that tension when that time has come for the twist to be revealed. And when I knew that that was there, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, this. No, this can't be the twist. Oh, dude, the father's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> the father's an idiot. If you guys go out and see this, you'll know exactly what I mean when I say the father's an idiot. Yeah. Like, he's just such a moron. It, it, these characters are just doing things. And again, you know, horror movies have always been accused of this, having their characters do stupid things to move stories along. Right. But look, sometimes that can be fun. Like you watch movies yeah, if if, if it's in, if something. it's intentional, yeah, you're going then like, you're good. Yeah, yeah, but you're having a good time. This is a movie that is trying to make you believe that it's high art, like it's hereditary or something. But really, it's like 
whatever bargain bin five dollar dvd you found in a walmart i, f- I feel like, like and i don't want to roast this film too much but like i do feel like it was pitched to a24 oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. get accepted oh Stuart, i'm gonna roast this thing like no tomorrow like this is <laughs> like this is a movie that feels like yeah they pitched it to a24 but even a24 was like cool it <laughs> it's, 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 settle down, it's, 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 down. <laughs> like uh, uh, it's, Stuart, you sound pained by this there movie. was so they had so much going for it the potential yeah. was there the directing was there the atmosphere the cast it was there Stuart, let me ask but you a question. it wasn't uh, let me ask you a question what do you think is worse when it, you watch a good movie that slowly squanders its potential or a movie that is just bad and you can totally tell that they had zero potential from the get-go oh, what holy, do you think is worse oh, holy shit in um, your mind so one that that a good squanders movie, its potential yeah a good movie that squanders its potential or a bad movie that tries to pretend that it has potential but doesn't one of them is just flat out garbage, and the other one's just disappointing. Yeah. But either way, I don't want to see them either. Either uh, way. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah. you know, again, this, like, this just—it's just one of those horror movies that just straight up isn't for everybody. And in saying that, I, and and honestly, even that's a little bit nice to say. Yeah. Because I've met people who have seen this movie that aren't even horror buffs and don't even go in, in for expectations, and they're just. Like, dude, it's it's a three out of ten. Like, there's there's so many people that you know, both horror buff, film buff, or not, just people just wanting to see this horror movie. It's just it's not hitting them the right way. Some people are giving it better scores than others, but general, pe- gen- generally, I'm like the people that I've been talking to. You know, again, sure, you know, some people are giving it a three, some people are giving it a six. It's still not what it should have gotten as a horror movie with this much hype and promotion yeah and buzz um yeah like de- like i gotta be honest about something and it's like a good movie is a good movie okay right yeah some it just might not hit some people you know that it, that's what you know divisive you know you know like that's what like it comes at night is you know like right. it's a very and, and well-made movie it but it so just good. doesn't hit people right you know did i find in with certain expectations and the movie just can't fulfill those right absolutely like i thought joe edgerton knew exactly what he was going for and he did that i feel i thought i thought the story and the performances and the atmosphere was there was it scary no but at the end of the day was it a satisfying film to me personally yes i feel like it got its point across yeah this film this is just a bad (laughs) <laughs> this is just a really bad movie and i don't think wow uh, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest here i think the majority of people who go and see this they're not gonna like it and it's not the fact that it's divisive it's the fact that it's poor storytelling yeah and again like i didn't dislike this movie but i didn't like it either right like and even right. you know yeah, even I while giving you. this movie a yeah. mixed review I would I would watch it again, but am I looking forward to it? No. It, like again, there were some things I liked about it, but do I re- would I really prefer spending my time watching this movie over another one? No, not really. But if it's on, you know, somebody's like, hey, you know, hey, I want to watch this movie. Will you go? I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, fuck it, I'll go see it. Yeah. I it's I not a bad it. movie. I didn't hate it. It just isn't going to be in my top ten of the year. Yeah, like, <laughs> I feel like I must add. This is my opinion, like, you know, you know, like, like, it's just my opinion. I I feel like a lot of people, including myself, are going to walk out of this movie like I did and think to themselves, wow, I just watched a couple of pretentious people make a movie that they believe is high art when in all actuality it's a garbage fire right and on that's all accounts and i hate to bring other people's work into this but this is how i felt about midsummer yeah. it, it had so much buzz Ooh. from ari aster's hereditary and it, it was pretty derivative it was not like original it was not original but. and not see that's the point with this one her, Midsommar and The Lodge both had so much going for them, but at the end of the day, they are not new films. Right, yeah. And even the good stuff that you remember about them, it vanishes in a few days. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm just gonna get this over with. Overall, I do give this film a six out of ten. It was a very mixed film for me, and I will I want to see it again just to see if that changes. But honestly, I feel like if I see it again, my my score will will drop. <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. I don't I don't wanna take so much hate on this film, but it was it was just it could have been so much better. It could have been good. Yeah. It could have been been good. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, man. My my score on this. It's one out of ten. <laughs> uh, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. The characters all suck. Wow. The story motivations don't wow. work. And if you wanna see a good horror movie, uh color out of space anyone yo color like, color out of space was great yeah, check that one out Ooh. Sk- skip this disaster it's really <laughs> bad if you if you go and see it type us your thoughts you know let us yeah. know what you thought of it yeah I, I would love to see yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. jacob did you want to add anything to this yeah i'm sorry man. I mean, I mean, that's the fact that he fell asleep during the movie that says about... i did not fall asleep <laughs> during the movie yeah you oh did, okay so i did not no I, d- believe I me not. it's, it's in this case, it's okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, I did not fall asleep. Okay. Well, what's your what's your thoughts upon this? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I I literally <laughs> be honest. I, be honest though. It literally. Is. What did you think? It, I I think <laughs> I would have rather had my penis chopped. Oh God. Okay, that's the end of this review. <laughs> Demonetization. Yeah. Active. Here comes the age restriction. Yeah. Oh boy. Fantastic. Uh, whew, okay. So yes, so, the lodge is a. Uh, um. Hey. So yeah, go see Color Out of Space. Yeah, go see that. <laughs> Still Daddy. in theaters. Parasite. Go for it. Parasite. <laughs> what? Uh, 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 what whatever is currently playing in theaters right now yes. is not this. Yes. Just watch that instead. Uh, You'll have this more is, fun. This has probably been my, my funnest review I've ever done. Yeah. Uh thank you for checking out this reviews, guys. Um this review. I have I have been a lot like really busy and I haven't gotten to these reviews that I've been wanting to do, but I have many on the way. Um I have the gentleman coming as well as Sonic the Hedgehog, The Turning, Fuck's sake, uh Downhill. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time coming coming here this this coming week. Oh so boy, downhill. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in on this video. You know, if I still have viewers, but <laughs> it's it's downhill. It's been a blast talking about this movie, and I cannot wait to get back to you with the even better movies. Well, yeah. take care, guys. Drop us uh, your thoughts in the video in the in, uh, on the video in the comments below, and you know, take care. Let us let us know what you think. Pragmatophobia coming soon.